Okay, so to start off with, welcome to the Jess Project. I'm doing a card called an easy step card, meaning it comes in two pieces instead of having to do a bunch of different slices in one piece to make the step look. So the first thing is to you take your uh, eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut that in half. So you got a piece that's eight and a half by five and a half. And you don't pre-score that because you've got different scores for this one. You're going to score it. And to open this guy up a little bit. We're gonna score it at three, six, and seven and one quarter. So that's your base. Then you've got a piece which I already cut it is three by six. And you're gonna score that at four. Then you need some white pieces and some designer series paper pieces. So what I'm gonna need is my designer series paper pieces are both gonna be five and a quarter inch long and I want one to be two and three quarters and one to be one inch and it just so happens on this piece that I had I have a little bit extra left over to save for something else and for my white pieces, I want two pieces that are two and three quarters, and one is five and a quarter. Again, that's the piece for the inside of the card to write on. It's optional, but you especially might want it if you have a darker cardstock base. And then you've got a piece for the front, which is three and three quarters. So there's the six basic pieces that you need. Now, we need some pieces for the decorations and the scrap piece. That's better. The decorations and the greetings. So I'm going to do a gray bunny. stamps the outline so I'm gonna color color it in and it's gonna be punched out because I do have a punch for it actually now I also that I could use some other pieces, but since this particular set just has a punch for this one bunny and it doesn't have uh, die cuts for the other stuff, I'll have to cut it out by hand. So 
So that's the only thing that is easy to cut. Then I want... I think I want to do, if it'll fit on this skinny piece. I think it will. I'll do Happy Easter. Yeah, I'll just do it in a gorgeous grape. Just like that. Hopefully it's straightish. Actually, I don't think this piece of cardstock is straight. But Oh, well, whatever, that's fine. And I'll do a little butterfly. And I'll do some Easter eggs. Should I outline them in gray or purple? Yeah, I'll just do purple since I have it open. That's fine. It's good. And I'm gonna do some grass too, but maybe I will do that right on the paper. So, I'll just take this little grass piece in the granny apple green ink and I'll do some grass at the bottom here out quickly and then color them in. I think I'll just use regular markers on these two but blends for the bunny because I think I can do better if I can lighten those colors up a little bit because the outline isn't very dark. Butterfly. off and try and make this a little bit easier on me. Now I gotta pick some colors. Hmm. And I also want to cut this. Yeah, that's like in no way evenly cut. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Just because. And then, let's see, how's this gonna look? brushes in. It's not much 
Nah, I have to use the color, it pretty much goes away. So, I'm going to use this one, I guess. Put a little bit more green in the grass. have a light blue close to me for the sky. But I do have this one. That should work okay, I think. Might be too tealish. I don't know. Let's make it really light. color in the bunny. Where are they? There's a pink and there's my grays the outline in smoky slate so hopefully that's good let's just do a little bit with the pink and the inside of the ear and there's not really a whole lot of nose showing but I'll do that pink too why not and I got this Light smoky slate. Is that light enough? Yeah, I guess you can still see the lines. thinking of doing the belly and the tail in the lighter parts of gray and do the rest of the body in the darker gray but I think I'll just leave it white maybe do a little bit of a little bit of an accent with the darker with the back back leg there try to blend that out a little bit will get rid of that a little bit there. So 
sort of. Yes. Not too bad. Okay, now how about a little blue eye for the bunny? That looks kind of weird. Oh well. And then I want to. Do some on the eggs and the butterfly. This butterfly probably does not actually exist in nature. <laughs> That's okay though. That's not what that's not what I wanted to do. Calypso Kuro. I'll do that stripe there. And then That and that and that and that and then this and this. more color on here. What the heck, eh? Let's go crazy. Maybe a little bit of pink on the egg. I haven't brought any pink in before, but that's okay. There. All right, now. Now I want to stick those back in there. Put it together. So, just going to move that out of the way. Just 
So I'm gonna put this piece on here. I'll just use some white glue for most of this. It's fast. design there and the white piece for the inside I'm not gonna do anything on that because just write something if I want to use this card that folds over like that and then these two shorter folds one folds up against the card and one folds down so you've got that sort of idea there I'll try and press those down a little bit more because you could, in theory, stick this down, make that smaller, but it's harder when you've got the top step piece on to open up and see the inside. So I didn't really want to do that. So I'll just try to make it as foldy as possible. And we've got the six by three with a score at four. And that's where this is gonna go. And then we're gonna decorate on top of that. Center it as much as possible. And I want to get one more thing, a piece of ribbon. Now this is some old ribbon that I just pulled off my shelf. And I just cut a piece, I don't know, like maybe 22 inches or so long enough to wrap around and tie a bow, hopefully. So I want to pull that tight. I'll try to hold it with my fing finger. Pull that tight and try to make this twisted properly so I can get a nice bow. A bit, a bit smaller. Down, slide it down a little bit. And I just want to see this piece here. That's going to go about right there. So it attaches here on the back and on the front right there. So when it opens, it'll be like that. But first I want to decorate it because I'm going to have some of these pieces hanging off a bit. So I want to make sure it is staying within the card. So I think I will want to pop these pieces up, but keep the bunny down. I think that makes the most sense. Let me bring out my little foam dots. 
and set something on there. Just put a little bit of glue on the back of the bunny. Set the tail because it's going to hang off. Good. I need a little tiny piece for this butterfly. I'll put it right there and then eggs over here. Oh, I think I'll use little ones for the eggs as well. Not hanging off too much, but I'll move that one in just a little bit, just in case. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. And this... do I want to do here? Yeah, I guess that's really the only place. But I'm going to add a little bit more color to it. So I'm just going to take my uh, felt tip end of my blends marker. And I'm going to try to gently flick it off of my lid just to get uh, some little splotches of color, but I don't want to bend it too much, so not too rough with it. Yeah, that's pretty light, but it is on there. Okay. Put that there so I don't go over the edge. And one more should be good. decorate with. I think that I want some of these or some of these. Yeah, I'll go with the sequins. Why not? So to attach this, I'm just going to put a little bit right on the bottom there. Make sure that nothing hangs off of the side. Try to get that as equal from the bottom as possible. And press that down. And then, just a little line right at the very top. And hold it together. And then press it down. Like that. And now I will add bluey purple ones. Um, sure, one there. Okay, a couple of little ones. Hmm. Uh oh, did I get it? Yeah, there. And over 
over here, maybe? Sure. Why not? So there. You made the step in the center-ish. Because I didn't want this to hang over. And I wanted enough room for my little bow to show. But you can like slide it more that way, slide it more that way. You can make it like a side step on either side or more to the center. Whichever you like. It stands up. Looks like that on the side. So I hope you enjoyed this card. And oh, I do actually have a couple more that I did. I did this one all Sunday and another Sunday one. I'm gonna make sure I've got those on the camera, huh? Another Sunday and then this one. Thinking of you. I just used the, this is the only stamp, the Thinking of You, and I just used the Designer Series paper and cut out some flowers to decorate the front to make it even more simple. And I guess you could change the sizes too if you wanted like another layer of color behind this. You could make um, this slightly smaller and then add another layer. Same thing with your DSP layers. You could add another layer underneath. You could go down an eighth of an inch instead of a quarter of an inch and put something under that size right as it is. So there is some other options. And I hope you'll join me again for another video. Ta for, ta -ta for now. Bye-bye.